My name is Mwana Siti, baby Swane. I'm from Kenya. I've got two kids. Um, my daughter, she's eight, and my son is seven. Um, I haven't seen my kids um, nearly one year and three months now. Um, my kids are with my ex-husband, who's got custody. I met my, my ex-husband in 2001, and uh, he's a white British. And he had already had uh, four kids with his exes, two of them. And I had my own two with him. And we moved into a nice home. My first was nice. And then the abuse started. He was so violent with me. He used to hit me, threaten me. And um, I couldn't do anything. I, I went all over to ask for help. I couldn't get any help from the social service. Neither the police wouldn't help me. Um, I, the violence just got too much and when I tried to get out, I couldn't get out because I couldn't find any help. The social service, they couldn't help me at all because they say I haven't got any legal to stay in the country so they couldn't help me. So I meant to go back again, stay with him because I had two young kids. There was I didn't have anyone to help me at all. So I got went back and the abuse just got too much with, and there was no way out for me. It's a pain. It feels so much pain not to see my kids. I feel uh, so much um, worried about them. I feel depressed. I'm not well. I don't know how they are, how school they are, all, all those things are just missing out being mother to my kids. Um, my kids were taken away from me and um, we went to custody in the family court. And um, I was told I was an unfit mother, and um, I had to. Uh, they definitely told me that I have to leave the country. They said I have to leave my kids behind and go back to Kenya and apply to come back again to see my kids. The main reason I think was to do with my status. My status. And the other thing was because he's white, so they all favoured him. But I didn't have anyone behind me. The social worker, they didn't help me. The guardian, they refused to help me. They were in his side. The psychiatric, his side. The court, his side. I was left alone because I didn't have any right in the country. So they used that too much. That if you don't have any right, you don't have no. You don't have any right. That means no one's going to be there to help you. They were definitely saying you have to go. There's no help, so he knew that he can do anything to me and I wouldn't get any help. He knew that I don't have any papers, I don't have any right, and uh, he used that. So when he went to court, he knew that he's going to get all his, all everyone with him, so he used my migration status to help himself, to gain everything, my kids, my life, and everything of mine just left me alone there. That's the main reason why they gave my husband, my ex-husband my kids because I didn't have any status in the country. It was so easy to, to do everything to me as I didn't have any papers and it was black and I had a home. They say I had a country to go so for them so easy to to take away from my kids from me. If I was white then it would be different. Okay. So much different. to pay some money to have contact with my kids because they say that um, I have um, I'm on feet and second they say that uh, it's supervision contact so I have to have supervision contact working so I haven't got enough funds to fund the contact at all it's disgusting what they've done what they're saying that they shouldn't do that to any mom that's my kids I work so hard for my kids alone in this country no family, no friends, no help from any anyone, any legal team, no one. I did everything, looked after my own, my stepkids and my kids by myself, four kids. And I didn't have any kids before, so these are my first kids. These are my family, my kids are my family, I'm alone here. So for them to do this to me, this is not fair. Torture for my kids, what they're doing, that's just pain for my kids, what they're doing. They're, they are young kids, every child needs their mom. So what they're doing in, the, in, this, in this country where they say they've got human rights, human rights is big everywhere, 
but they are also abusing my kids the way they're doing that's abusing my kids and no one is there to help them even the social service they're not they know the situation but they're not doing anything the kafkas they know what's happened to those kids they know everything but no one is doing anything the court no one is helping those kids they just left them it's like black kids they are black kids because the mixed race kids they they just they treat them just like the way they're treating me so they're my kids they come from my wound so they're treating them the same Yes, my husband, my ex has been used to hit me. There is report to the police. They, they are photos there, photos of me who hit me and everything. But whenever I go to the police, they end up arresting me because I don't have any right. They arrest me. They put me in cell. It's so like really? they're punishing me because of what's happened. They didn't okay. help me at all. They, they are logging of cases there, but they didn't help me at all. Social service, they Did didn't. They Assistant also, no, they didn't. They couldn't help me even to care. When I used to go to ask for help, they said, Oh, you've got a, a husband there, so he need to help you. And I'm telling them he doesn't help. So whenever I go to them, they just turn me back to my ex. So they didn't help me anyway. Um, yeah. I am in the process at the moment with another solicitor who they look promising. So I'm gonna try and see what help they can offer. She was a migration lawyer, but she didn't know what she was doing. She relied so much from the family because she, she was getting so much pressure also from the family court. So she got confused and caught in the middle and just left me alone there. Left me, told me exactly that you are going to get deported and you are not going to have the kids. So that means the family court won't give you the kids if they know you're getting deported. So I lost everything. Helping at all, they couldn't because they're saying that's the rule has been done by the court and the high court so in the crown court so they, they were not helping me they refused to do that they refused to go back to court to help me to see my kids I write to them every week on Friday I write to write to them and they write back every other week <laughs> say a lot of stuff when they write they just say that we have, we are going to school, we are doing homework and all those things. But not much because they, they cannot write to, to see how much they, how they feel because they are young and they've been watched, I think they've been watched so they cannot write a lot. So my ex-husband is controlling them because whenever they do write letters, it's not their writing, someone else is doing the writing. That means someone else is speaking to them. To someone else is doing all the work and that's not fair for them they're just taking away young kids from their mum and that's not fair Women's Centre in London who they helped me to get my status I'm very happy for them they helped me and but now I haven't seen my kids I've got my status now. Um, again, so they've helped me for a long time and I'm still getting a lot of help from them. If it wasn't them, then I don't know where would I be now. They helped me so much, so, so much.